hello everyone welcome back so in this video i will be continuing with our pacman and in other words i will be upgrading the uh, existing pacman and uh, making it more means interactive and more colorful so i designed this maze which seemed to be very interesting so you can design this um, by using the lines and it's in the same procedure as before and also i'm starting the game halfway because in the previous videos i had completed how to shown you how to make the sprite or the pac-man and also uh, other miss how to create the backgrounds and what are the codes related to it if you are not able to follow please watch the previous video and then come to this video this would be much more helpful so in this video i'll be adding the ghosts uh, that will move around in our maze so let's get started so let's create a new uh, sprite and yes a circle seems helpful let's first select a green color okay and the rectangle over here and yes this looks similar to a ghost and i need eyes so selecting the white color over here not a rectangle now i need a circle so i think this looks good and one big one small eye so that looks uh, similar to a ghost right now i need the pupils so let's uh, put some dots over here black dots okay so yes so yes it looks like a ghost yeah now let's uh, create a duplicate of this because i need a waving motion so i will what i'll do is i will erase some part from bottom of this of our ghosts okay so yes and in the second costume get it little bit different in a different order and so that it appears that it is moving and i think yes yes you can see the animation right it seems that it is moving so yes that's it let's reduce the size and go ahead and reduce the size and yes i think this is uh, still a bit bigger so let's reduce this two times more okay this seems a perfect size yeah because it's a ghost it can pass through all of this so let's just initially place it over here so let's create some uh, duplicates of this ghost i need let's say i will have three ghosts in my maze so let's create three duplicates so yes and let's change the color of each one of those so let's color this one to be red so don't forget to color both the costumes and say this color to be say purple so purple is a means blending with our background so let's select another color that seems pink yes this is visible okay yes so yes our three ghosts are ready now let's go to the codes of this ghost so our ghost should appear in such a way that it when it touches our uh, back man it should slow it down okay so let's uh, design the ghost first uh, we need to means uh, design the circuit in which our uh, ghost will appear to move so let's say the green ghost will move in this circuit so let's assign this circuit to it so initially uh, let's say uh, i so we had broadcasted a show dot message initially so let's use that one up here so when i receive when i receive show dot show dot and i need it to show itself so show itself and then forever change the costume right so as to appear animating move so let's change the costume looks next costume and add a delay so that it's not too fast and it's observable so let's go to controls and add a delay of about say 0.3 seconds yeah okay so yes that's it and now about the circuit so let's again go to events and select uh, when i receive show dot so it sh we would use the glide option over here so as to glide this so let's say our initial position will be here so let's use a go to operator to assign this one this is our initial place of this green ghost and it should move so now it should a uh, repeated action should take place forever right so let's take a forever loop that's taking a forever loop and now i will use the guide option glide option sorry glide okay let's go from here to let's say first step is here so now the coordinates of glide has changed okay it will glide to this point then it needs to move to this position say okay so now you can place the glide again and this position and you have your glide 
and let's say here so glide again and let's say it moves here a bit because it's a downward so making it look a little bit realistic so now this now i think it can move directly to this position yes so yes and uh, then again return to the original position so that it appears to be a loop so now let's see what is happening so you can see our boss is moving but it's too fast and this so you can change the um, timing over here to control your speed so the second speed is too much so let's reduce please increase the speed and let's see the other parts are working fine yes the speed is now means uh, controllable and observable the third part is also little bit fast so let's make it two seconds over you can modify this as you wish as you means uh, imply it in your game so i will assign the circuits for the other our means um, the other two ghosts so i'll be back with uh, when designing this it is similar i hope you will be able to do this i have shown you the first so i'll be back when i will design this uh, the other two circuits so yes so hello uh, and uh, as you have seen i have designed my paths for the other three ghosts other two ghosts so let's see how they work so you can so look that they are working very nicely very means uh, perfect and it's it looks nice so yes you can uh, design your own pathways so just follow the procedure as previous so here what i want to do is the when the ghost touches my pac-man i want to reduce its speed so let's go to the sprite that is our pac-man and go to its motion that is controlling the motion this is controlling so i want to insert a if block over here so that it can check whether it's touching so since i have three let's stop this game for now so since i have uh, three ghosts that needs to be checked so i would need an operator that would be or that i need this three times so three conditions three conditions are there so and the sensing bar so touching so let's place it here so i think it should be here because means i won't be able to adjust it in the screen so let's place another over here and another over here so now quickly select go to the sprite 2 is our ghost green ghost and similarly sprite 3 the red ghost and sprite 4 the pink ghost so sprite 4 yeah so yes if this touches then our speed should be not 1 say 0 0.5 but it should be there for a minimum duration right so for that let's go and select a repeat action so let's see yes repeat this step at 10 steps let's take it 0.5 reduce to half and let's duplicate this bar and if this is not the case then it will move as usual so that is our one step so rest all the codes are remaining same okay so yes let's check it out how it works so let's play it so now if it touches yes but it's slowing down but for a very very small amount of time let's increase this repeating block say let's say i'm increasing this to 100 okay so now let's check it out so i need a ghost to connect with me so yes you can see our pac-man has been slowed down yes this time seems to be perfect so yes so i uh, will uh, design these uh, dots and come back to you again so Yes, as you can see, I have designed my Pac-Man. So with all this, um, um, all these dots to it. So let's select it. So you can see the dots remaining, and it's very nice to play here. So be aware of the ghosts, and yes, it's working very nicely. So yes, thank you all. So keep watching, and if you require any update, so please mention it in the comments box, and don't forget to sub subscribe. So thank you. Bye bye.